Hi everyone, Rory from Data Spinners here. In the last session we looked at global variables, so I won't go into too much detail on that. Uh, this time we're going to look at the visible property because it does uh, it does affect what we're doing. So what we have is a little app here and there's a picture of me and what we're looking to do is to make that uh, appear or not appear. So what we have is we've got a global variable sitting up here, or rather we've got a global variable here. So it says set GV photo visible status to be true if I click there and and by contrast set GV photo visible status to be false now I just prefix all my global variables with GV so I know where to, know where to find them so that means um, so yeah so if we want to set the visible property for this and we could um, visible you know if we just put false it would just disappear and we would never find it again um, but by contrast, we could make it this GV visible thing. So uh, GV visible, uh, or rather a photo visible. So if we click on that, then it will take on the the visible property will take on the value of that variable. So at the moment, the variable is false. Um, but if I hit the Alt key, click that. Oh, so it is false. And then if I click this one here, we can make it true. And you can see. That, that what's in this box here, so if I look at the text in this box, you can see the text in this box is the GV photo visible status. So that's one way of, um, of using it. Uh, what I've got over here is a form and um, there are certain fields that are visible. I could put more fields in um, and take fields out. That That's not a problem at all. Um, so I could put the page number in and so on. Um, but it's not the same as um, it's not the same taking a field out as making a field invisible. Now the reason for that is that what I can do um, what I can do with this is I can um, yeah I can go to my list item or a list itself and if you go to edit data on a SharePoint list it just fire, takes you off to the data um, now you can see that's um, it's sorted uh, descending on the ID which is perfect and if we go back to our app then what we can do is we can very quickly complete a new form so title is test, chapter one, relationship with Microsoft, uh, just put a user, quote, A, B, C, D, and your ID is um, uh, one, two, three, four, say. And if we look on this site itself, we're expecting ID number one, two, five, uh, two, six to come in. So if I hit the submit button, okay, no item to display. And if I go onto here and hit the refresh and then 126 has just appeared it's got various details and so on that's wonderful um, now what I wanted to show you is that um, you can also hide um, for example this um, relationship with Microsoft but what I can do is instead of having a default which is the parent default which is basically the um, the default for that SharePoint list and it may you may not have a default um, or you can have drop downs and all sorts of things so if I go on to there uh, and if I go on to advanced and if I unlock to change the properties um, I can actually change this to be um, I am a user of the software let's just say that's what we want to do um, now if we take that field out it won't go in there at all um, but if we were to set the visible property to be false that means the field is still there but it's uh, it's not visible to the user and it can make it it's it can make the the form that you're creating a little bit cleaner so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go new form open that one up title one two three uh, do four five six quote a b c d e f g and your id is one two three four just anything really uh, if i have to set no 
I've hit the submit no item to display and if I jump onto the survey site and hit the refresh button then what we'll see is this relationship with the um, with Microsoft has um, has got some details in there and uh, so that's my point is that if we hadn't set the visible property to be false and and so on then we wouldn't get that same behavior so perhaps just to sort of drive that one home um, what I'm going to do is I am going to find that uh, field which is an interesting point in itself so um, if I go to properties data and you go to relationship with Microsoft I just clicked on it and I can see the visible property you can see it down here actually um, and you set it to true in fact what I can do with that is I can actually untick it or rather delete the end um, I've got to delete this as a custom card but essentially that means that when that um, is completed uh, when the form is completed nothing is going to go into d in in relation to the relationship with Microsoft so what that means is if I go onto the play button hit the new form title one two three uh, one two three four five six seven um, eight nine ten and your ID is test and hit the submit then if we go onto this survey site and if we hit the refresh we're expecting 128 to come in there's 128 but this time relationship with Microsoft is not complete so that was two uses of the visible property it's actually a really important thing to be able to make use of so hopefully that is useful to you thanks for watching and uh, if you've got any comments leave them down below and if you've got any things that you'd like me to do videos on just drop me a line thanks very much bye